welcome to my channel hit the like button share and subscribe yes the title is correct i know y'all probably saw the title and said what but 34 individuals linked to bmf charged in suspected drug ring in st louis on thursday the U the u.s attorney's office for eastern missouri filed drug trafficking charges against 34 individuals allegedly linked to bmf the St. Louis Gateway Strike Force conducted a four-year investigation into this case. Special Agent Chris Crocker of the FBI St. Louis Field Office said, I think that dismantling this organization is going to make a significant impact on community safety. The organization is alleged to be the main supplier of methamphetamine, fentanyl, and cocaine in the St. Louis area and is connected to drug traffickers who fraudulently applied for COVID relief fund loans. These indictments and arrests targeted an organization that did not just limit their crimes to drug trafficking, said U.S. Attorney Sailor A. Fleming. Others have been accused of laundering money for the organization or taking advantage of the coronavirus pandemic to fraudulently obtain thousands of dollars in loans that were intended for struggling businesses and employees. Several individuals are indicted on various charges, including bank fraud, drug distribution, felony in possession of a firearm, felon in possession of a firearm, conspiracy to distribute drugs, and money laundering. According to the U.S. Attorney's Office, the following individuals are facing federal charges. Look at these ages, y'all. Chad E. Joe Brown, 51. Robert L. Lewis, 45. Robert Honest Sims, 40. Samir Simpson Bay, 37. Jeremy Waylo Steele, 44. Carl Vaughn Garrett, 53. Tiffany J. Tiff BMF Nelson, 42. So, it looks like um, whatever remainders they had out there on the streets from BMF, they're all getting indicted. And um, they were caught selling these doggone... Um, fitting all in these methamphetamines and all of this stuff like some people never learn. Y'all learn from these people because they are too old to be getting indicted for stuff like that. Like, if you're a criminal and you've been a criminal that long, you should know what you're doing by now. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be getting caught. Anyway, leave your comments in the comment section. Peace and love.